Hello, my soccer universe. Oh, I was already asleep. Storm woke me up, and yeah, I couldn't fall asleep again. And I read a little bit, and I thought it's worth making a video talking about the FIFA Council meeting in Miami and what went on there. I'm not sure if it's all good news. First of all, let's go through the the three major points. The good news is there will be no Global Nations League. I think this is a thing that should be dead in the water from, from, from the beginning. I think the Nations League for Europe makes a lot of sense. I know CONCACAF at least was planning to do one. I can see it there. Uh, South America doesn't need anything like that because they have anyway a huge uh, qualification procedure for the World Cup and then now the run up to the Copa America. Um, and I think in Asia there are many small tour tournaments and Africa, I mean, you know, with African teams you always have to travel anyway. You have a lot of qualifications going and you have a bi-annually uh, Africa Cup of Nations. We have one this year. Look, I actually really looking forward to that one. And you have a lot of qualification tournaments because you have darn big confederation in addition to World Cup qualifiers. So to me, that always seemed to be a stretch. To me, it made always more sense for the European teams uh, to just have an additional competition. And you know, in Africa, there's also this. Um, it's called Africa Cup. It's very similar. It's the African Cup of Nations, and then some other comp competition where there's only players that are playing in Africa as a national team competing so you know you have quite some stuff going on there as well um, and from that point of view I'm glad that this Global Nations League I mean how would this even work think about all the travel costs involved I mean I always say that I would like to have a World Cup um, qualification groups played all over the world I mean use the FIFA FIFA ranking and make up the qualification groups uh, that at least I would like to see it once, but I don't see it feasible. Uh, not in this day and age where we actually want to cut back on travel because of all the emissions and whatever costs. So it just doesn't seem right in many, many regards. But you know, many things in FIFA don't seem right. So that's the first point. The second point is the upcoming World Cup. Will it be a 32 team uh, World Cup? Will it be a 48 team World Cup? Well, FIFA wants to have a 48 team World Cup, conditional if there can be found a host country, a second host country. In addition to Qatar, uh, Qatar, I need to learn this now, Qatar, because you need four additional stadiums. And with Qatar being a really, really small country, I mean really small, the province I'm living in Austria, and Austria is not a lot of big country, it's bigger than Qatar. Uh, it just boggles my mind how we could get into this situation. Um, as a joint bit, all the time but hosting a World Cup in such a small co a country is ridiculous and it's just so much wrong with it from the from, 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 from the get-go I know when the vote came up and I never thought that they will win but I thought hmm this sounds cool this would be the first time in that you could actually visit three World Cup games on this on the same day without using a hel helicopter like Franz Beckenbauer did in the World Cup in Germany so um, that appealed to me, but everything else did not. And we all know that it should have gone to the US and it would have been very well uh, be there uh, to be there. And every other country, I mean, uh, give it to Australia, although strangely enough, I don't think Australia, when they had the Asian Cup, I was amazed of how many small stadiums they had in there. Not that they needed uh, much, much bigger stadiums, but uh, so if you want to build a World Cup, you need to build a whole lot more big stadiums. And uh, Australia only has really five big cities. It is uh, Sydney and Melbourne, of course, Brisbane, uh, Adelaide, Perth. Maybe you can add Newcastle, maybe you can uh, Canberra. But I don't think there's many more. So, uh, yeah, while I would have loved to see, I think it's more, you know, uh, pure Japanese or pure Korean bit, but we just have been there. So, to me, the US made a whole lot of sense to give it to them. Uh, although we also have not too long ago, but you know, meanwhile, it is. 
a long time ago. It's amazing. I still remember the World Cup. And it was a thing. Anyway. So FIFA really would like to have the 48-team World Cup, but it's conditional on if we can get, um, if we can avoid national crisis. With other uh, countries, I know that Kuwait and I think Oman said they would do it. Probably they're not neighboring countries, so that makes it uh, tricky. They're neutral in the whole conflict. Um, if there wasn't a conflict, I would say the United Arab Emirates would make a whole lot sense because. They have, they have a shared history with Qatar. I mean, Qatar was about to become one of uh, another emirate uh, conglomerate there. So, the conglomerate was the wrong word now, but you, you know what I mean. Um, so, that would make sense to me. Uh, Infantino badly wants Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we're gonna play it in Jeddah on the other side of the Arabian in Peninsula. Um, I don't know. I don't know uh, what to think about the whole thing. And uh, I'm actually, in a way, it is okay to have a World Cup in that region at the Arabian Peninsula. This is a soccer mad region. They totally deserve to have it. Um, they should have made a joint beat. Or something like that that makes it a little bit more tractable for everyone around. And do we need to discuss the 48 versus 32 thing? I think if you want to have many teams, 32 is a perfect format. 64 would be the next perfect one. Everything else in between is just stupid. Uh, if, you, if you would ask me, I would make a 16-team World Cup, as it used to be. Uh, just for the simple reason that you would have a lot of really good teams there. Uh, give them a nice, you know, you have to assign spots. I mean, I understand the polit politics that now uh, small nations are catching up, which is due to a 24 and a 32 team World Cup, that you could give smaller nations a little bit more uh, entry spots. And that makes it a lot more, it gives them the opportunity to catch up and we saw that the World Cup is relatively even, although it got probably more defensive now than it has been, let's say, in the... Um, I don't want to say. I was thinking 1970 was this super offensive World Cup in 1966. Watch the... I see the official FIFA movie. Watch that one. When they talk about how bad soccer is, because this is modern football, when, you know, it was the height of Catanaccio. 1974 and 1978, I think, 1980, 82, those were good tournaments. Uh, 1974 was marked by bad weather, but gave us one of the greatest teams of all time that just didn't win because they had their noses a little bit too high. So, yeah, uh, the World Cup overall, yes. Due to the smaller teams, I always feel it's a little bit more defensively minded uh, than it should be. But on the other side, it, this is shows the way forward that, you know, if you well organize a small team, you can even keep up with the big boys. And that makes it uh, great. But the problem with the 48 team is that you either have the groups of four where you then have to uh, see which uh, best uh, third place team will make it through, which I find idiotic. Or you have groups of three, which are similarly idiotic, especially if you have two teams advancing. Because then it is always possible, or most of the time possible, not always, to kind of figure out the result that will see both through. If only the top team is advancing, then it's fair game every time or every time, any time. You also have the problem of potential dead rubbers, but you have this in the other format too. Uh, meaning that... Um, a team wins the first two matches and then the losers basically play for the runner-up spot which yeah can happen uh probably won't happen if it's uh, nicely done so but that is the only way that i could see that you cannot fix who's going on uh in the last matchup but um it is possible to just uh see and sell through by the way, I'm tired. I'm really tired, but this storm, it's, yeah, cannot fall asleep. I hope after this video I will be able to. So yeah, I don't like the format of the 48-team World Cup. I think uh, groups of three 
Well, they're not ideal if you would only let the top teams through, uh, through, so you have 16 groups, then you would have a round of 16 and you match them up, you have only group winners. I would like that a whole lot more, honestly. That could be a really interesting and very intense format, but the problem is that you, um, you know, 16, you're getting rid of a lot of teams, 32, after two games, and that is what FIFA doesn't want, so some understanding there too but yeah i was thinking could could you do a double knockout round you know um where you go home if, if you've lost twice the problem with that one and that, that and that's a huge problem that um a final might have to be replayed if the team that has been winning all the time making two to the final then loses the final you need to give the uh, team a second chance and this throws off the schedule then a second final is kind of anticlimactic and it's, you don't know when the world cup ends will it end on a friday or will it end on a sunday just picking a random day so uh that is a downside uh maybe you could have the double knockout stage until you have sort of a qualifier i don't know something needs to be done i don't think that this current format is all that great so that was the second big point and then the last big point and for me is the most contentious one i already read that uh there's a position for europe we get rid of the confederations cup mm, i'm probably one of the few people who is sad about it because i actually always like the confederations cup like a mini world cup ahead of the true world cup you can, or can already feel for the country and Honestly, it was never that bad of a team, uh, bad, bad, bad of a tour tournament, and it gives the host country a way to prepare for the tournament. Uh, is it great that you force national teams to don't give them this one break because they really some players really do? Uh, yes, but Germany showed how to go. Send a prospective squad there. I honestly, I always enjoyed the Confederations Cup, but I'm I know I'm in the uh, best minority there but okay uh, let's get rid of it what do we do instead at 24 i mean again 24 how do you come up with those numbers we know that a 24 tournament uh team tournament doesn't work i hate the euros that they went to 24 i hate it 2024 is not a good you have this weird thing with the third place teams that is just not fair and that has everyone waiting oh yeah uh, look at albania i mean they had to wait until the last round uh are we advancing or are we kicked out stupid it's an absolutely stupid format uh there was the one at the 1982 world cup where we had this second round with uh groups of three again groups of three are not good but there's only the winner was advancing to the final uh which made them for uh good cinema <laughs> Uh, so to speak that is okay but but i don't think it's ideal make it 16 make it 16 16 16 then 32 don't mess around with anything or make groups of five but this will give you an endlessly long tour tour tournament needlessly long and yeah anyway um with so we want to have a 24 team club world cup because yes we want to also get into the club game because our world cup is just stinks yes it stinks the club world cup just stinks it's uh, everyone knows who's gonna win it from the beginning and the only excitement is whether yeah will the south american side make it probably they won't maybe the, some other team maybe the host nation can do it something the, that tournament absolutely stinks and FIFA doesn't does, does like it. And now Infantino comes from UEFA, and where the Champions League is it's the best tournament in the world. Let's not kid, 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 kid ourselves. And especially this year, it's a little bit more open, seemingly, than in previous years. Um, the best soccer is played there. I would still prefer the World Cup over the Champions League, but it's a very, 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 very close thing. Maybe the Euros, uh, until they increased it, you know. But those three, I think the best soccer has always been played in the Champions League. We don't need to make any bounds about it. Especially since Bosman came and teams can buy their superstar teams. Now, however you might like or dislike that, uh, to me it's a matter of fact, due to the Bosman ruling, 
we get the best soccer in the world in the Champions League and we get the most money in the Champions League, uh, maybe the Premier League. Yeah, but you know, it's club soccer. FIFA wants to have a part of that. And UEFA, of course, says, uh, 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 uh. And they already said the European Club Association. I, I mean, I can just imagine Karl-Heinz Um I'm not sure if he's still there. Should have checked that one now. But even if he isn't, um, I can just imagine him saying, yeah, FIFA. You're crazy. Uh, and they already said, no, we're not participating in such a World Cup. We are absolutely not going to do that. And good for them. Because that's the one thing that FIFA cannot do anything about it. If those teams are not participating, they're not participating. And then what World Cup do you have? Yeah, the best team from not out of Europe. And then you play the Intercontinental Cup somewhere in Tokyo again. Um, <laughs> that's the way it's going to happen, I think. Uh, yes, I'm European. Yes, I find it sad that the South American game cannot live up to the European game anymore. And we saw this very impressively at the Boca River, um, River Boca final. Copa Libertadores final that the quality of soccer was just not there. The passion was there 100%. Just the quality was, was, was not there. We see that Asia may be coming a little bit. Um, but overall, uh, outside of Europe, the level is not that great. So you need the European teams to guarantee a little bit of quality. Uh, but the problem with the European teams is, and you see this already with the Super League uh, this day discussions, First and foremost, you're in it for the money. So you need to steer the money pot. Uh, but then you also have the fact, how, how, how do you get more money? Well, we have already those super inflated leagues. I think a league of 16 would suffice. Uh, if all the top leagues were only 16 teams, uh, we would not talk that, that much about having uh, too many players or get rid of some, some of the cup competitions. I mean, get rid of the League Cup in England. I think the local cup competitions are anyway not that great anymore. Um, you know, what the players would need is a reduced load. And they're not going to come get it because we're going to have more and more games. Now add on a few more games and then the, the, those teams are saying no, because we our players will have an injury. We have just a big program already. And this is a program that we want that has a lot of tradition. We don't need your club role World Cup where we're playing uh, teams from New Zealand. And yeah, my condolences is uh, New Zealand. What happened there was horrible. I'll talk about the, uh, the killings. And this is nothing, nothing against New Zealand, but this is just not a level competition. Uh, an amateur team? No. No. Even a team from Asia. I mean, if it's played in Asia, there is maybe a little bit, but you saw how Real Madrid was toying with the opposition this year. And they're not the best team in Europe. So, I mean, no. This Club World Cup is the absolute... No, 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 no. I don't want to have a 48 team World Cup, but I want to have a Club World Cup. So that's the result of FIFA Council meeting. I just thought I need to give you my pers per 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 personal opinion because I think it lends itself very well to a video. Could have talked about Friday games now, but um, I'll do that maybe tomorrow or something like that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on all this stuff that comes from FIFA. I just, you know, as happy as I was to get rid of Plato and as happy I was that Infantino got selected because I thought, yeah, this guy is going to... He quickly proved me wrong. He is... He... Just crazy for money and power in the way that, you know, yeah. Now that I'm FIFA president, I'm gonna uh, not um, so much uh, look at Europe anymore because that's where I'm coming from. Let's secure the votes from the other places. And they're, of course, happy if we get some more... Uh, teams in the World Cup and all that kind of nonsense. Yes, I even understand, I really understand that uh, smaller nations and all the other car federations, they looking with envy at Europe, totally justified, totally justified, and you wanna have a piece of the pie. Um, 
spread the wealth and maybe the UEFA should do a much better job at that. Um, no doubt about it. But don't come up with fake competitions or bloat up a tournament. I think the World Cup with 32 teams was about as perfect as it can get. Um, yeah. More teams will not make it better. But that's my opinion. Let me know your opinion. Again, I'm European. I'm definitely talking from a European perspective. I understand that. I also understand that there's a certain arrogance probably coming with it that I try to take out. I, when I when I speak so uh, bluntly, I'm more thinking about what the clubs are saying than this necessarily being my own my own opinion. Um, but I just know that a club World Cup, even if there are eight European teams, yes, then we will have six of them in the quarterfinal. And we already don't like that at the World Cup uh, in Europe, we have usually six European teams in there. Um, yes, it is nice, but you know, and yes, uh, football is a European game. Yes, South America is or has been for the longest time an equal player there. Uh, it's still equal player in terms of the talent that the, that is coming from there. It's not equal player in terms of clubs and even national teams anymore. I mean, the repeated failure of Brazil, who have been the top favorites at the last four World Cups, where only once they made it to the semifinal, and there got completely annihilated. It's a streak that's horrible, and... Um, I think a lot of needs to go in there to level the field there again. This video is getting very long, but you know, I'm tired and I'm giving you all my opinions. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this council meeting stuff and your opinions on Confederations Cup, Expanded World Cup, Club World Cup, uh, Global Nations League. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This was very much me, uh, in a way. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.